Boxing King Media and Association with Box Row, sponsored by Balboa Inu. Khalid, are you great night for you fighting in Dubai in front of a big crowd? You brought a lot of fans over. How was the experience for you? Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to Prebellum uh, for getting me over here. Big thank you to Tom Stork and MTK Global for uh, organising it all. And uh, obviously, you know, today it was a massive platform for myself. Uh, you know, I'm so grateful at the young age of 19 to be here and to experience something different, you know. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, tonight wasn't ideal, um, but it is what it is. Uh, and I've just got to learn from this now and uh, just move forward. You got the win. Um, you fought a guy from India. Was there a bit of a Pakistan-India rivalry there? Because there was a bit of pressure there, wasn't there? Um, not really, to be honest, because uh, anyone that steps in front of me is a new person. And I don't take stuff like that into the ring because uh, it's, it's not fair on me, it's not fair on the other guy. He's just a person trying to beat me, and that's that simple. No no politics, no uh, behind the, you know, whatever in it. It's not it's not nothing to Pakistan-India. It's the guy trying to beat me, and I'm trying to beat him. So, uh, no, not, not really. Um, but obviously, I think maybe that did add to the... To add to his thinking and he saw me and he thought you know what this is for my country and I can go back home to my people and say you know what I'd be a Pakistani today but um, you know, at the end of the day it's a, it's a learning experience and uh, something new. Yeah he proper put it on you from the first round were you shocked by that? Uh, yeah I'll be honest you know I was shocked by it because we'd watched uh, previous fights of him and uh, you know it took him like a good 30 seconds to a minute to actually throw something so for him to come out in the first maybe 10 seconds straight away uh, pressure him uh, but you know what it's, it's a learning experience it was good for me and uh, if I don't have this experience early it's going to come and bite me bite me in the back at a later stage when I'm fighting for maybe titles which I, hope, I do hope to do one day so uh, it's a good learning experience and uh, you know we just move forward I can't do anything about it and it's just yeah. It seemed like it was his World Cup, but yeah. anyway, going past the first round, you seemed like you know you got your stride in, you started working, and and you hit him a few times. Are you a bit gutted that you know you probably needed another 30 seconds? You could have took him out there in that last round. Yeah, I'll be honest. You know the heat's kind of uh, threw me away this week, and it's not something. Obviously, I'm used to back in England. Obviously, it's been for freezing at the moment. So uh, yeah, I do feel like if I had a bit more time, I would have got him out of there because he was fading, and I was hitting him with some good shots. You know, at times I thought I felt like he was going to go down. But obviously, like that thing, what you said previously for his side, is that he wanted to stay up. He had pride in his heart to stay up, and no matter what it took, he was going to see it to the to the end of the four rounds. Um, and yeah, you know. I'll move forward. Like you said, a massive platform for you to fight out here in Dubai. You know, what's next? Have they spoken to you? Your team spoken to you yet? Uh, not yet. We're obviously, we're going to go to drawing board back on Monday. Uh, you know, improve on a, quite a lot of things. Um, you know, like, I'm one of these people that I've got really high expect expectations of myself. And, uh, you know, from the first round, I'm just not happy with it. You know, I should have been more alert. Uh, at the start, but I felt like after the second round, once I started boxing and I started using, you know, my tools, I did. I was. It was just completely one-sided. But um, yeah, uh, from Monday, I'll, have, I'll enjoy myself, and then from Monday we'll go. We'll go. I'm just going to get your coaching, Khalil. I'm just going to get your coach and see what he's got to say. He's he's, he's been a bit hard on himself, you know. Um, it was a good learning experience for him and he seemed like the other guy, it, this was like his World Cup for him yeah. and obviously after the first round he got his stride in, he hit the guy, he could have took him out. Yeah. You know, how do you review his performance? I'll give him a, well out of 10 I'll give him a 7. Uh, just that first round in it where you need to establish it, you need to throw your face, you need to use your jab, you need to collect your data. Kelly didn't do that. Instead. That guy, when he, when he was standing there, then the guy came straight at him because I think he sensed that Khalid wasn't doing anything. He wasn't even touching. So he rushed to Khalid quickly and that's why I annoyed him. So as soon as he sat down, I had to wake him up. So I gave him a nice slap. <laughs> that's what you got to do sometimes when you need to do it. So then I told him, I go, listen, what up to the front of the jab? I got everything come from the jab. He's getting free entry into your, into your area and that's because you're not throwing a jab. So then I woke him up, I go, use the jab, throw everything off the jab. If he's coming forward, just take that little step back. And that worked. Because then he started to switch on and understand, okay, if he's rushing at me, then maybe I should use my jab so he has to get past my jab, then maybe throw a backhand as well, just to give me something to think about. But it's all learning. Khalid's only 19 years old, in Dubai as well, a hot country. Um, we were scheduled to fight at three, then six, then we had to wait two and a half hours. But listen, this is part of the process. This is what I want for him, to learn and gain that experience of nothing goes to plan. It's like a wedding. 
wedding. <laughs> you know how weddings are. <laughs> so it's just a learning curve. But you know, he's young and these lessons are what's going to make him into a great fighter in the long run. So I say take it as a blessing. Every, every single time you learn, you always get better from it. Because that's not going to happen again and he's known not to make, make that mistake again. So hopefully that will bring more concentration, more focus and you know, start off good. Because first impressions are everything in, in boxing. Especially sometimes you know when someone's starting cold or someone's not letting off the jab, that you can quickly throw a shot. So, you know, you can't play boxing. So he needs to switch on a bit more faster and then get into the groove. Well, the last thought is he hurt the guy and he nearly stopped him. So yeah. it's, a, it's a good, he, you ended on a positive. So I just take that from what Khalil said. Yeah, Yeah. you know, uh, Khalil, Khalil's honest with me. He came, I came back in the first round and he weren't happy with it. He even gave me a slap. So uh, it is what it is. Me and him have got a good relationship. And we'll go back and we'll, we'll focus. You know, it's not anything about focus because, you know, throughout this whole camp I've had a hard 10 weeks of training. And, uh, you know, it's been every day, it's just been training and learning and everything like that. And uh, I've had a few bits behind the scene, you know, it's not been easy. But um, today was, you know, that's all blocked out the window and it's what you saw of me today. And uh, I just want to tell everyone that, you know, I'm going to come back stronger. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that from the first round, first bell to the last bell, I'm focused. I'm in there 100% and I'm listening to my coach. And uh, obviously I'd like to say a big thank you to Khalil because he gives up his time, you know, away from his family. And, uh, you know, everything that he puts into me, to the other guys that he trains, you know, we're all so thankful for him. So, uh, yeah, um, new experience, new country, but I'm just ready to get back in there and, and show everyone what I'm about, really. Well, you must have a good relationship if he's able to slap you and get away with it. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it, it had to be done. I mean, if he lost the second round, then everyone would be shouting and screaming. So it would have been even more emotional and he would have been even more down. So I had to give him, the slap was the first thing I gave because then it, it woke up to, OK, listen, this is a fight. Get into your game plan. And it did work. Second, third, fourth, he won. And he put it on the guy. So sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I mean, it's not about just giving the advice. I saw that he wasn't even focusing. So I said, listen, wake up. And that's it. Then he switched on. Sometimes you need to do that. You don't want to get knocked out and then, you know, then find out that oh, I got knocked out and then he has to wake up. So I'd rather I do it than someone in the ring. Then at least it's more safe and it's a slap, not a punch. Well, hopefully more coaches uh, learn that tactic. If your fighters aren't listening, slap them and wake them up. <laughs> thank you guys and I uh, wish you all the best next time around. All right, thank you.